Hi everybody, Wave 3 News Meteorologist Ryan Hoke here with a Hokey video blog update for this Sunday morning, the 18th of September. Summer is winding down very quickly and it looks like we're going to have a fairly dry end to it. Still holding on to some clouds and a little bit of fog this morning. We'll discuss that in a second. Let's talk about today's Hokey weather fact first. Tornadoes in Hawaii, something you don't often think about. They get them. They're weak usually. Lower than that EF2 strength, uh, that the maximum one that they've seen, the strongest one. Uh, normally, Hawaii has had about 40 of these confirmed tornadoes since 1950. So they're not all that common, but they do happen, and they can cause some damage down that way. Still holding on to just a little bit of fog on our Paoli Kentucky One Health Skytrack camera. Whoa, hello, bird. <laughs> Apparently the birds like the fog this morning up there in southern Indiana. The rest of our camera is really not painting that picture at this time. Starlight did have some patchy fog earlier. That has since uh, mixed out the National Weather Service has put out a special weather statement until 9.15 this morning about some of this patchy fog that we're seeing around the area. Uh, it should mix out here over the next several minutes. Bardstown seeing a little more fog than the rest of us at the moment, but I think we'll be in pretty good shape here by the time you watch this, so that's the good thing. Down to our south, uh, lower 70s, upper 60s to our north at this hour. A little bit of rain down to our south. The green you saw around Louisville is just ground clutter. They even got flash flood warnings. In fact, as of this recording, one being issued, a pretty big one out there, East to 75, south of 64 in eastern Kentucky. Thankfully, we don't have that going on for us. Just a couple of isolated showers uh, down to our south, and we will be seeing a few more isolated showers possible through the afternoon because until this cold front moves through, we can't get rid of the shower chance just yet. It's been taking its dear sweet time to move through. Still just knocking on our door this morning. Whew, yeah, it's going to be a, a long haul here over the next several hours as this slides on through. So we'll be seeing most of the shower chance in Kentucky because that's where uh, the front will be during this time. In fact, future cast shows that pretty well by 1130, maybe an isolated sprinkle or two. Uh, by 2, 3 o'clock, we add some heating of the day to this setup and maybe a few more showers. But uh, for the most part, most of us stay dry. It's only a 20% chance. Fade it down to about a 10% chance later this afternoon. We're dry overnight. We clear out and some patchy fog is possible in places on Monday morning. We'll see how widespread that gets. Here's a seven-day breakdown. A couple of big events wrapping up today, including the Gaslight Festival in J-Town. Goes till 6 p.m. 77 to start things out at noontime. We'll be in the lower 80s by 6 o'clock. Clock. Now, as we look down south in Nelson County, the Kentucky Bourbon Festival wrapping up. Only a 20% chance of a shower as we head throughout the early afternoon. Temperatures in the lower 80s, uh, probably 83 degrees for a high down there in Nelson County as we head throughout the day. So, as we head throughout our Monday, 87, 88 for Tuesday. You'll notice I bumped up a couple of these days, a degree or two, just because it's looking uh, a little bit warmer. I've added that 10% shower chance on Tuesday. There's a front that's going to be trying to set in Tuesday uh, to our north that may produce just a shower or two. Don't think it's really going to be a big deal. First day of fall coming on Thursday. Yeah, summer days are numbered. In fact, four more days until fall gets here. Forecast for the first day of fall. Partly sunny and 90. Mother Nature didn't get the memo about this whole autumn starting thing. It's supposed to be like pumpkin spice and light fleece jackets and all that. And No, how about 90? Yeah, a lot like summer as high pressure moves eastbound and puts us under a big ridge uh, that keeps us in the lower 90s for Thursday and Friday. I want to give you the earliest alert on this for Saturday and Sunday next weekend. I know you're going to say it. I know you're going to say it. Oh, Ryan, why is it going to rain? And it's not going to rain all the time. I mean, we can even see that a week out. It just looks like a few maybe isolated to scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder on Saturday. That's not the bad part. The bad part is maybe Sunday of uh, next weekend on your earliest alert outlook. You'll see that we've got a pretty solid thunderstorm chance there. Highs in the 80s. Here's the setup. You'll see it's kind of this big meandering, slow-moving, cutoff low pressure over the plains uh, that starts off by producing just a couple of isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday, but really moves in here wholesale by late Sunday. So it's not even going to rain all day on Sunday. It's just the highest chance of precipitation would be Sunday and late Sunday at that. At this point, still a week out, still many things can change. We'll nail down the timing and the impacts on this in better detail. Uh, the GFS model is here. It has another wave of energy surging in. The Euro, uh, just a little bit different on that, uh, but we'll see some convergence in the uh, ideas for this system for Sunday and Monday of the next week here coming up probably in the next three to four days as we get a little bit better look at things. Nonetheless, looks like we've got uh, 
several rain chances coming up. Uh, they may not be storm chances. They may just be plain old shower chances after about the end of the month here because we're going to start to cool down. Instability would start to wane a bit. Temperatures may only top out in the 70s several days just before the start of October. I know we have to say it now. October is coming. It is just two weeks away. In fact, under two weeks away from today. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, enjoy a couple of those vents out there today. The rain chance is very low. Don't fret about the sun not coming out too much for a lot of us. It's just going to take some time to get the clouds out of here. That's it for now, guys. I will see you starting at 9 a.m. on our new one-hour edition of Sunrise from 9 to 10 a.m. this morning. See you then.